are here again in Valencia, Spain, with Shidoshi Luis Nogueira and Sensei Daniel Motio, preparing for Shidoshi as well. And uh, we have received during this pre encounter many emails from practitioners of all times. I guess all these videos have uh, stimulated them. And they um, have asked us about some variation forms of Torite. Um, these forms are well guarded and they are not uh, taught um, freely because they are um, more violent than the, than the usual. So now we're going to review some forms, principles and the points of efficiency in each of them. So, let's see. So she will show us the first form and then we may analyze together what he's doing. Very nice. So uh, we, we just saw that he started by concerning his right hand, the hand of the katana. If Toshi could show us one more time, step by step, but uh, that's, that's brief what just happened. He went for his right hand, the hand of the katana, the hand of the draw, and then just spin around using this point as a method of control. And also, um, the purpose of this foot here is to stretch the most he, he could so he would avoid this tanto. Uh, this hand using tanto, and also having his elbow quite locked here, so he would violently bring him down. Wait, you see? Exactly. Put him face violently um, on the ground, and then followed by some quite interesting locks. What you can see here is he is using the arm in a, a stretched position. We call this mageta, ma mageta ode, the arm. Uh, sorry. Nobashi forms in which his arm uh, is stretched. So from here, he could go to a variation of kuzure. There are many kuzure forms in this kind of torite. And then nobashi again, uh, stretched one more time, uh, over, overloading his um, shoulder, scapula, and then uh, breaking elbow. He could also, from the same point, go to the forms in which the arm is. Uh, is bent like like this, heading for scapula, scapula lock. We can see this is scapula um, just showing up here, exactly, and in a very fragile position. Very nice. He could do the same thing. He could do by putting his his foot over the shoulder there. The arm is still bent in a magetaude. Exactly, exactly. Showing an emphasis in other angle of the scapula lock. Now let's go for some other technique. <clears throat> right arm as well. The control from the neck now. Rising him and then doing what is most commonly known as Yama Oroshi. Exactly. Consisting of compressing his spine down and then bringing his whole body down violently. This is a very fragile angle, exactly. So we have his his right leg here stretched, giving him full support for doing this traction very violently. Remember, we're still talking about jujutsu, so this is done. Um, this is performed using traction, and here we have the emphasis on the humerus itself, elbow and humerus there. That is pinned now. He cannot even look, as he's saying, Daniel cannot even look to Shidoshi right now because his face is, is um, locked to the other side. Exactly. We have his weight down here, we have this, uh, this fork here, so uh, quite dangerous technique. He could also do it in the Nobashi form by stretching his arm and then putting the, the movement and the lock. On the elbow, we can see how his body has to, has to shape, has to adapt to this new situation. And by the by inside, again, in, in this case, making uh, taking the power from his shoulders, so he has no way, or it is quite difficult for him to react under these conditions. Now for other technique, and also quite interesting, 
uh, is that these same techniques can be performed both in Swari, Noiko, that means both of them are sick, uh, as in Hami Hanachi, as in Tachi position. So it is a method, you know? So Kuichidoshi, next technique. Your right hand again. Now, this angle, well, as I say, Daniel is surely clean here that this angle is uh, a tough angle for his arm. He cannot bring his arm down. One more time. This is a downward angle. Exactly. Breaking down. Of course, we are having all the care and uh, respect for the OK, but this is not putting a huge pressure downward, uh, hitting his face on the ground directly. So he is still confused. He doesn't know exactly what is what is going on, and then the lock is already performed, and uh, this leg gives him full support. In nobashi form, the arm is stretched, and now I'm going to the back position. Here we have scapula. Exactly. You can also. As we saw, just uh, he can put his, his feet up here, yes, and then um, restrain his shoulder and humerus. Now, let's go now for the next technique. We are both exactly. He's, he's waiting, though, so the twist comes from behind. Exactly. So, the reason that he came from below is that he was um, uh, preventing him to use any hand and, and uh, um, then drawing any kind of blade, any sword, any aikuchi, any, any tanto, and then moving on to the shime, to a uh, strangle. Then Vishiloshi, very nice, bringing him down and quickly surrounding him for using these same crossed arms that we have just saw. Now, when this foot enters, yes, he could do he could do from from here and then uh, proceed to humerus. But he could also, as an example of akuzure, he could put his his foot over his spine in the center area of his spine and then um, overload his cervical area by raising both his arms. Exactly, some different angles here. And then he can just move on to the side again going to cervical and having his arm, his elbow under lock. Very nice, now we we'll move on to the next technique. Back, this technique speaks for itself. Uh, so we have the, his uh, both his arms crossed here. The first arm, if, if you allow me to, if you allow me to just show here that we have this whole place which you have your foot. Yes. Okay. Let's see that first of all, his toes and his his foot is uh, over his throat, so it's difficult for him even to breathe. Now, after that, he cannot even look to Shidoshi one more time, to Shidoshi Luis. Now we have, first of all, this first elbow here in a lock. It would be a fracture. As I said, it's a, a different, for a more extreme form of Torite. It actually hurts. Then we have another fracture here in, uh, in the elbow, in his left elbow. Then, what Shidoshi Luis will do is he will bring him to the side. Exactly. He can do it with both arms, like this. Or he could also uh, bend his arm, which which allows me exactly. And then we are still having a huge compression um, on his on, on his shoulder and uh, a lock on this elbow. Very nice. Okay. And now from the ancient times. The sport itself, how he would act, please. And at any for starter, we are double crossing his arms so he cannot use his katana. Then switch his rings down violently. One more time, we are uh, tweaking uh, Sensei Daniel with all the respect, but this is done very violently. And again, 
the principle of the point of efficiency of using his his full leg stretching the power of his leg and his weight backward and now stretching his arm and uh, overloading his shoulder and elbow. Great. So another technique with um, with sword with katana moto in this case. Violently down after neutralizing his power of action. So we have here both arms quite stretched, quite rolled. Exactly. So now we have um, elbow overload here. One thing that Chido is um, spared, or okay, here is that when they uh, bring down, the is still here, right? Please see here. Is that Chidoshi would enter here and then um, press his his cervical because he is coming and he is going. So we have this huge uh, leverage on his on his cervical, which allows him to to move freely with his arms. So I mean to manipulate freely the arms of the uke in locks and uh, and so on. In the nobashi forms, stretched forms and uh, nagata forms, in which the arm is bent. Well, these forms were forms of sente kisho that are part of a guarded, um, uh, restricted part of the ancient torite. An extreme form of torite for the practitioners of the old time and the Thank you very much.